Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Wrong number? No, somebody was there. They hung up. Strange. Maybe it's not so strange. Charlene, I know it's hard for you to understand, but John deserves more than you can give him in your condition? I plan to make him my own and give him what he needs, but you're still in the way. You leave me no choice. Taylor! It's something. When did you get this? Yesterday's mail. Did you, did you call this hotel? I mean, I, is Taylor there? The manager said that one of the maids found it. It could have been there for months. And what do you think? I think... That's the third hang-up I've had today. And what does John think? John doesn't know. Why not? Because, Frankie, I don't want to worry him. You tell John the minute he walks in that door. Frankie! You do it, Charlene! Secrets destroy marriages, I know. Matthew, how's Mrs. Corey? Uh, asleep, finally. <laughs> Is her vision any better? No. Uh, Jamie should be calling any minute with the test results. We're all hoping for good news. Yeah, me too. And then he's going to meet with a neurologist, and they may, might want to bring her into the hospital. But uh, we'll let you know. Okay. Who's there? Jenna? I heard about your mom, so I wanted to be here for you. I mean, if, if you want me to be. I didn't know you'd be home. Rough day. Of course it was. Rachel lost her sight. She can see now, but her vision could go again at any time. Yeah. It's got to be awful for her, you too. Since when did you become Mr. Compassionate? Well, I figured the last thing you need is us at each other's throat. How about a truce? Why would I want to be your friend? Why would that be so terrible? Because I'm counting the days until I'm rid of you. You keep reminding me of that. You know, you may have stopped Marley and Jamie from eloping, but they are going to be married, Jake. What does that have to do with anything? Because I'm taken. Marley's taken. So why don't you do us all a favor and just find yourself another woman? Everybody got lost. What's up, Cass? I guess I'm early, or else everybody else is late. I just guess that people aren't as big a party animal as I thought they were. Because of what happened in court? I guess. I can't believe that the jury found Carl Hudgens not guilty. 
Obviously, the DA didn't make his case. Yeah, well, after what that creep did to Frankie, you give me ten minutes alone with that guy, I'll give him a case, all right? This was supposed to be your big night. Ah, it's, it's all right, man. Uh, it's all right. I'm, I'm sorry, Dean. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cool. Yeah, I'm surprised that you remembered. Uh, Frankie reminded me. Yeah, that's okay. I figured. <laughs> no, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I'm glad. Uh, if she were well enough, of course, she would definitely be here. I always wondered what would happen if a bunch of people had a huge premiere and no one showed up. You know what I mean? I think you do. Hey, I'll tell you, though, I, I give you a little bit of sandwich to go, wrap it up. It's not like we don't well, have I haven't plenty. seen the finished product. Well, I haven't seen the whole thing either yet. Let's but... do it. Really? Why not? Yeah? All right. Yeah? You know, like right. you and me. All right. You want a beer? Uh, is there any left? <laughs> There's a couple left. Hey, listen, isn't it traditional for um, the driving creative force behind one of these things to say a few words before they dim the lights? Oh, you gotta be kidding. No. It's a good I, practice no. for when I, you receive the award for best video. I got a point there. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, here goes. This video would not be possible if one person hadn't believed in me and encouraged me. And... Everybody who worked on the Lady Killer video gave it their all, and I thank you for all showing up. But one person in particular practically gave it their life. And I owe whatever success I have to that person. To Frankie. Salute. Mm. Can we watch this thing? Roll them. Roll them. Roll them. You ready? Ready. Listen, um, I think you misunderstand. What do you mean? I want to know how Rachel is. Is she going to be okay? We don't know yet. This must be really hard on you. I'm fine. <laughs> it's my mom. She'll, she's going to be okay. I know she is. Not guilty. Carl Hutchins not guilty. What a Yeah, job. the verdict surprised everyone. I mean, Felicia's furious. I mean, what kind of justice is that? Hutchins goes free, my mom goes blind. Look, right now, all you should be thinking about is her getting better. She's had such a hard time since Mac died. Whatever she was feeling, she always had time for us. Well, now you can be there for her. Look, what can I do? I can't do anything. I can't bring her sight back. I'm the one who's blind. Don't do this to yourself. It's true! I got so caught up in... Being Mr. Big Shot, that I left everything else by the wayside. Well, everybody knows how important DNM is That's to you. That's no excuse. Look what I did to us. I mean, I was out to show the world that Matt Corey's not just some rich kid trying to live off his family's bank account. There's nothing wrong with trying There's to There's plenty yourself. wrong with it. With the way I went about it. I don't think you should be so hard on yourself. Why not? I lost you, didn't I? Put this back on. Please, put it on. Don't you tell me how to run my life. It's good advice, Jake. Yeah, well, how do you Take know it. What I want? Since when do you care? Because you have a chance to start over. Why would I want to start over without Marty? If you really love her, Jake, let her be happy. Let Marley marry Jamie. Stop trying to come between them. She should have never left me. Right. I don't know why I'm telling you this. So, uh, you gonna come to the final cut of Lady Killer? I'm really tired, though. Why don't you get dressed? I'll get this. Get dressed. Hello? I'm glad you answered. Hi. Can you talk? Um, yes, but it's not a good idea to call me here. When I heard about Carl and what happened to Rachel, I knew I wouldn't be able to see you last evening. Yeah, things have been kind of tense here. I've got to be with you. I can't get you out of my mind. You want to see me tonight? I can't grant none tonight. 
I've spent the last 12 hours running from strategy sessions to campaign appearances. I need to put a little sanity back in my life. Can I do that for you? You want to be with me, don't you? Well, you know the answer to that. So? So we don't want to do anything to jeopardize your campaign. And besides, Rachel might need me. Uh, sh surely Rachel can spare you for one evening. Besides, I've got a lot of new ideas for fundraising for the clinic. <laughs> You don't give up, do you? <laughs> See you at Tops. Tops is pretty public. The more public the place, the less it looks like we're sneaking around. See you soon. Grant. There's a debt. That date you just made. That was personal. Call it off. Who's that on the phone? That's for me. Hmm? See you in a little while. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Donna. Hope I haven't caught you at a bad time. Well, what can I do for you? Well, Marley and Jamie have finally decided on a Christmas wedding, so I thought that you and I could sit down and talk about some plans to have the shower at Tops. Well, why don't you call my catering department? I'm sure that they can help you. But I thought, since you know Marley personally, that you and I could just work this out. Donna, um, I have just spent the entire afternoon with Rachel, and as you know, Carl is back on the loose, so I'm not really in the Poor party Rachel. planning mood. If you know. Poor Rachel. Is she feeling any better? Yeah, she is, but it's pretty unnerving, as you can imagine. Was Michael there? Michael has been a good friend to Rachel. I know. He didn't leave her side during the whole trial. Donna, if you come over here to pump me for information about Michael oh, and Rachel, you really have wasted absolutely your time. Absolutely not. I'm making a sincere inquiry yeah, about sure Rachel's you condition. Now, why don't you call the catering department, ask for Roxanne. I'll tell her to expect your call. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Subtlety was never done a strong point. I just was it? cannot believe this lady. I mean, mm. Rachel can't see, and she's pumping me for information about Michael. Love is so complicated. Hey. I'm sorry that we argued yesterday. Well, you know, we're not always going to agree, agree on, on Jenna. I know, but maybe we could do a little more discussing rather than yelling. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't like the, uh, the arguing part, but the kissing part, I like that part. You do, huh? Yeah, yeah, I do. What does that mean? Does that mean we're not going to fight anymore? I'll give it a shot. You know, Cass always did say that we're so different that we would probably you know, fight Cass, a lot. Cass, Cass is really one to give insight. Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> so we're still down on Cass. No, huh? no, I'm not down on anybody. I'm fine. Come on, what is it? Oh, nothing. It's just, uh, um, Jenna. What? Well, she was asking about her father again this morning. Father? Mm. I mean, she knows that we've done everything we can to try and find him. We've just come up with nothing. Yeah, I know, but, you know, she was mentioning something yesterday at lunch. She, she's, she remembered something. About her father? I, look, I'll tell you what we'll do. What? Uh, I will take you out to dinner, and then we will bury the hatchet officially, and then we'll think of something to do with Jenna. Okay. okay. I'll go change my clothes. Right. Okay. Wait. What? You know, it was not that long ago that someone told me if I was going to go to dinner with the woman who I've loved all my life and talk about our daughter, I told them that they were crazy. Well, you're a little crazy. Uh, having you and Jenna in my life makes me the luckiest guy in the world. There's no point in telling John, at least not yet. What do you plan to do, Charlene? Wait till Taylor invites herself to Frankie, Sunday dinner? Frankie, no, wait a second. The last time, though John tried to hide it, he was terrified for Gregory and me. That makes sense, doesn't it? There was a mad woman after you. Maybe there is. Maybe she's I, not a I'll thing. tell him when it's time. <sighs> You're talking Taylor here, Charlene. There may not be time. When I'm sure this is something real, I'll tell him. 
I don't believe this. You saw what happened to me. I waited for the right time to tell Cass I was pregnant, and that time never came. Wait, you can't compare the two. Oh, I'm yes, I you can. can. This is it's not the same. It's about control. You want to control this? You want to make it manageable? And that's not going to happen, I will Charlene. not do this to John. And that's what I said, too. And you know what? wound up happening. I, instead, I wound up destroying any trust that Cass had in me. I may have destroyed us. I have to handle this in my own way. You handle it with John. Wait a minute. What, just wait a minute. What? Frankie, the hotel. Yeah. The hotel where this letter came from. They keep records, don't they? So that should tell us when she stayed there. If she used what her own name. There has to be some way of pinpointing down when this letter was written. I mean, if she was in that hotel after she supposedly drowned... Okay, then you will accept that this threat is real? Then you will tell John and get help? I've already talked to Ryan. Oh, that's something. When, what, what did he say? Hey, I'm waiting for the guy to get back to me. Okay, uh, suppose I help you. Frank, no offense, darling, but you can barely make it up and down the stairs. I have a P.I. friend in Chicago. I can have him check out the hotel, see what he can sniff okay, out. Okay, now that would be great. Then you tell John. Deal. Good. I mean it, Charlene. I do not want you and John ending up like me and Cass. And I think we know how it all ends. What do you think? Well, uh, I mean, objectively, honestly, what do I think? Yes, very objective. I think it's fantastic. You mean that? Yes, I do. I can't believe that the kid that tried to steal my car could create something like that. <laughs> Friday night videos, guaranteed. I, I'd lay uh, odds on it. From your mouth to, to Billboard's ears. Hey, you stuck with it. And now your dream is about to come true. Starting to sound like Frankie. We're both very proud of you. Yeah. Um, Cass, with, with you and Frankie, uh, yeah. you think that's gonna happen again, or? I'm giving it everything I've got. It's for whatever it's worth, I'm for it. That's worth a lot. When I saw at the hospital between you and Frankie, yeah. that was a miracle. I couldn't imagine my life without her. I still can't. I know exactly what you mean. You do? Yeah. Me and Jenna, it's... It's happening? Well, uh, no. I mean, not if Lucas has anything to say about What is it. with Lucas? I don't know. I think the guy would... Uh, the guy wants me slightly dead, okay? Why? What have you done? I, I'm just not Matt Corey. Yeah. It's just a matter of time until Lucas puts a contract on me, I think. Oh, I think Felicia no, will talk Felicia, about it. Felicia, sure. Felicia, look, anytime Lucas has a problem with me, Felicia's right there singing back up with him. It's... Listen, I get the feeling that Felicia is seeing you in a very different light. Oh, come on. She I'm knows serious? Frankie and me. She also knows how we feel about you. She should know that Frankie's always stuck by me. I mean... I'm going to go see Felicia about helping me with Frankie. Maybe she'll... Be willing to help Lucas see how uh, how sterling your character really is. <laughs> well, at this <laughs> point, it's worth a shot. I'll tell you how it comes out, okay? Great, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, that's what families are for, right? Later. And young Dean. The video's great, and so are you. Being a Corey is not all it's cracked up to be. What do you mean? Something inside me. A need to always do the right thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Look at Mom. She didn't tell anyone about her sight. Well, that's not because she's a quarry. That's because that's the way that she is. It's both. I mean, she thought it was her duty to be a credible witness at this trial, so she didn't tell anyone about her sight problem. Now she could lose it forever. Oh, Matt, look. Amanda, take Amanda. She messed up her marriage. She took total responsibility for that. And she couldn't tell Sam that she really loved him. Yeah, but she finally did. Finally. She finally did, and they got together. At what expense? Olivia's feelings? They could have been avoided. What about you? When I 
realized how much I cared about you, I held back. Why? Because I thought you were young. And I thought I was doing the right thing by taking things slowly. Is that why you had an affair with Lorna? I don't know. I mean, I was right to take things slowly with you, but what I did was wrong. <laughs> I thought I had it all together. I was lying. I was lying to myself. I was lying to you. And I can't even guarantee it won't happen again. Well, that's up to you, man. Whether we have another chance is up to you. I'm not, I'm not gonna press you. I'm sorry. It wouldn't do any good. Listen, just until you make a decision, do me a favor. If I can. Don't let Dean sweep you off your feet. Matt, please don't tell me how to feel. He likes you. He likes you a lot. Now that he thinks I'm out of the picture, he's going to be turning on the charm, taking you out for midnight strolls, sweet talking you. I have to go. Jenna. Listen, um, I'll see you tomorrow, and you really should eat something. The latest poll says you've cut the distance between yourself and this incumbent by another three quarters of a percent. You know how much stock I put in polls. The momentum is going our way. All I can do is get my message across and hope the people respond. Oh, you have to do more than that. Well, I refuse to judge any beautiful baby contests, if that's what you mean. No, no, you have to stay clear of anything that might suggest even a hint of scandal. There's nothing scandalous about Pauline. She's a married woman. And a newlywed at that. I'll be careful, Dad. Like you were with a Hudson woman? That's enough, Dad. Grant, there are people out there who believe in you. You have a chance to make a real difference. Fine. You manage my campaign, I'll manage my personal life. I'm not going to let you blow this, Grant. And for what? Another pretty face? You are the last person to tell me who I should and should not see. What are you talking about? I wonder what people think when they see you with Donna Hudson. Now what's wrong with Donna? She's a charming woman. She's also Carl Hutchins' main squeeze. I'm not running for the Senate. You are. And try not to forget it. What do you want? I want to talk to you about my wife. Now, just one It's all minute. right, Dad. I think I can handle this. I'll be on the phone in the other room if you need me. So, how's the fundraiser for the clinic going? Doesn't Paulina keep you posted? You know, for a guy who's running for senator of the United States, you spend a lot of time on a, on a dinky little fundraiser. You didn't come in here to discuss my no, schedule. I didn't. I want a favor. A favor? Yes, I would like to put my reservations in right now for Paulina and me to sit at the head of the table. I figured you could use your clock. I wasn't aware that you were keen on fundraising. I am now. You see, Paulina and I are going to be making a considerable contribution during the course of the evening. It's very generous of you, Jake, considering it's Paulina's money. Is there anything else? You know, if I was a jealous man, I might think that you and Paulina were starting right where you left off. There's nothing else, Jake. Like I said, if I was a jealous man. But it turned out that I don't have to worry about you at all. Jake. I mean, I thought moving into the Cory house would be a, a big deal. But you know something? I really made a fool of myself. I'm a big sucker. <laughs> You're not going to start in on Paulina and Jake. I'm not going to start in on anything, Grant. I'm just going to tell you that you're not the one to worry about. It's Jamie. You see, it's those silent types that you have to watch. Well, I guess I'd better let you get back to getting reelected, huh? I'll make a note of the tickets. You do that.
did he want? Nothing. I hope he convinced you to stay away from Paulina. You'll excuse me, Dad. Surprise. Donna. Are you surprised? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Am I going to stand here in the hallway? Or are you going to let me in? No, of course not. Come in, come in. Thank you. Well, uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I thought, since I'm a liberated woman, it's high time I took you to dinner. I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. Too busy? Well, uh, to be perfectly honest, uh, it's come to my attention that it's not good for me to be seen in the company of Carl Hutchins' favorite lady. You must be joking. I'm very serious. I'm not Carl Hutchins' mall. That's not the point. Oh, you have to protect your image. And Grant's? Thank you for understanding. What I understand is that men can do business with whomever they please, but if a woman does it, she gets branded for life. Donna, the election will be over. And then I'll be back on your A-list. I'll call you. Don't. And as for your double standard, Spencer, you can shove it. Time I look at you. What? What do you say? That kid who saw you coming out of Finelli's candy store and fell in love. Finelli's candy store. <laughs> Boy, that seems like a million years ago, doesn't it? The only thing that's changed is that I love you even more. We didn't hear that. No, we no, didn't no, hear that. No, no, we, we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. Look, we'll go out to service Jenna. entrance. It could be oh, Jenna. Oh, ooh. I know, uh, I know. Let me just see. Hi, honey. Yes. Hi. Uh, what's happened? No. Oh, it's Frankie, of course. She won't even listen to me. Honey, I really can't do this now. You always put, put things in perspective for me. If I could just talk to you for a few minutes, I you promise. You can't. Excuse me? We're going out. We were just leaving. She has uh, short brown hair, very, very short hair. Um, she's about five foot two or three, small build, uh, green eyes, very pretty woman, actually. Um, we know that she was there for a medical convention uh, a couple of months ago. And that's the only time she was there. I told you. Well, that'd be great. Thanks a lot, Paul. I owe you one. Okay, so Paul's office is right around the corner from this hotel. He's on his way. Thank you, Taylor. I appreciate this. Oh, oh I appreciate it. You listen to me. If Taylor is alive, I want those cops after her. Oh, so do I. I mean, the very idea that, that she could still be out there. Nothing's is... going to happen to you, Charlene. Not to you or John or Gregory. In the middle of the night, I, I hear that grandfather clock ticking down at the end of the hall and... And all I can think of is that it's just ticking away the time until Taylor comes back to destroy Trust our lives. Trust me, Charlene, it's not going to happen. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Dean? Anybody? Hey. Hey. I'm sorry I missed the... The screening. That's all right. It's just I, I was a little worried, you know, about you. I didn't know what to think. Maybe you got sick from the rain last night? No, or... no, I'm fine. <sighs> Good. I'm fine, too. Good. Actually, I'm better than fine. I've been thinking about you all day long. Something the matter? I'm in a real weird mood today. Why, did something happen? I went to the quarries. I really wanted to see how Rachel is. All right. Matt gave you another one of his little sad stories. Dean, his mother could be blind, for God's sake. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. I Look, really, I didn't mean it like I that. I think that you should go over there. He really needs the support. I'm sure that Matt Corey would much rather hold your hand than mine. I've never seen him so down. 
Santa, please. Look, I, I really, I feel for the guy. I feel for him, but I thought that something happened between us last night. I thought that I finally got through to you, you know? Look, that doesn't mean that I'm just going to jump in your arms and be yours forever. Look, Dean, I'm sorry, but no, I, I just now don't... I get it. Now I get it. Get what? I, I finally understand what you're all about. If you would tell Pauline that the pressing business came up and I won't be able to meet her to discuss the fundraiser. I'll see that Mrs. McKinnon gets the message, Congressman. Thank you very much, Hilda. Excuse me, boss. When the county chairman told me he was having problems with this position paper, I thought you'd want to know. Put on a pot of coffee. Let's see what we can do to appease Mr. Chairman. You got it, boss. Um, this message just came from Mrs. McKinnon. Oh, well, I'll make sure that she gets it. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. with the get-up. I thought you were at the studio. I thought you were tired. I got my second wind. Polina. What? Don't do any... Don't do anything to jeopardize what we got going here, right? Good night, Jake. Hmm. Let me have a few minutes alone with Cass, okay? Yeah, you take as much time as you need. Luke? just can't act like he doesn't exist. I'm sorry, really. I, I didn't mean to do that. I guess I'm just used to you always being there for me whenever my life gets this screwed up. Honey? I know it's tough for you right now, and I know getting Frankie back, well, it just doesn't happen like that. You hurt her. And pain like that just doesn't go away that easily. Nobody listens to me the way you do, Felicia. Honey, I can't do this now. Not now. I don't I expect you to solve everything. My husband. I'm drowning yes. here, Felicia. You are my best friend. But. But I'm married now. And my husband has to come first. So you get wherever you're going a little later, yes, do one less cha cha. Please. Come over to Frankie's with me, we'll do a good Honey, cop, bad cop you've routine. You gotta do this all by yourself. Please don't make this any more difficult for me than it already is, please. You're really serious, aren't you? I'm really serious. God knows I wish you luck. And let me know how it turns out. Have a nice night. Cass. What do you mean you understand what I'm all about? There's a little pattern going with you, what Jenna. What pattern? All right, check it out. I, I tell you how I feel about you, right? Then you tell me how you feel about me. We kiss, it's like the earth moves, fireworks go off, and believe me, it, it was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. And I know that you feel the same way because I see it in your eyes. I do. Me. This is very important, Jenna. Please just hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. And then, when we pick it up the next day, you somehow usually have seen that. And then you, you pretend that nothing ever happened between that's us. That's not how I act. It's exactly how you act. You use Matt as some reason not to get close to me. Oh, that's ridiculous. What we have going terrifies you, doesn't it? You do not terrify me, Dean Frank. Once we get together, you know there's no turning back. You know that, don't you? Don't you? I asked you a question. It's simple, don't you?
drinking alone, Paulina, that's a bad sign. Are you following me? Now, let's see. This table is set up for two. One, two. Somebody stand you up. Stop poking around in my business. I think you need to get Grant to take better care of you. <laughs> you hear me complain? I mean, if you ask me, I think the guy's only in it for the chase. Once he gets what he wants, he moves on to the next page in his social register. I am not having this conversation with you. Fine. Good. Fine. Good. Open this. <laughs> what is it? It's an anniversary gift. What anniversary? Two more months until D-Day. D stands for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a man after my own heart. Oh, it's good to see you laugh again. Oh, I forgot what it's like lately. I talked to Matt earlier. He said Rachel's going to be fine. Good. I'm really afraid for her. Yeah, I haven't made it much easier, I don't think. If there's any other way I could have pulled this off, I would have. But, uh... Open your gift. <sighs> what is it? Open it. What is this, a dove? It's a piece. Two more months, no fighting. <laughs> you really think that's possible? Well, we've made it five minutes. Let's say we go for another ten. Nice drive at no sale. I beg your pardon? I let myself be sucked in by you once before. Wait, I won't let it happen what again. What are you talking about? You are the blackmailer. And I am the black Melly, and that is the extent of our relationship. All right, calm down. If you think you can just buy me with Don't some cheap voice, gift, Cass will hear you. I don't care who hears me. Eight weeks in county, Jake. Why don't you just make it look like you're trying? Just try. Leave? Yeah. Uh, I can call Lionel. He could probably get us a cab. No, don't bother. But you said you didn't want to take your own car tonight. I, I really don't feel like going out anymore. Is that some kind of punishment? Is that what you're doing? Please listen to me. I understand how important your writing is and your, your talk show and, and, and your restaurant, but I am getting sick and tired of having to fight with Cass for your attention, too. You're making it sound a little like it's some kind of competition. You know, from, from the day of our honeymoon, and even before that, Every time he has a problem, he shows up on our doorstep. We're friends. We count on each other. Tonight was supposed to be our night. I know. I know. And I got rid of him. Sure, until the next crisis. You knew that Cass and I were friends long before we got married. He presumes I'm going to disappear. No, he doesn't. And I told him so tonight. Honey, come on. I mean, couldn't you try to be just a little more understanding? I, I don't think too many husbands would understand having a wife's ex-lover show up when he's having a bad Cass day. Cass and I have not been together like that for a very long time. So what are you saying, that a, that a woman and a man can't be just okay, friends? Okay, fine. How about I go, I, I go to Iris every time well, that I'm is having a problem? Well, that is hardly the same thing, Oh, of Luke. course not. That's exactly what a, what a woman would say when a man makes a valid point. Well, you certainly made a point, didn't you? Look, you know that I'm right. They really are the aliens. Wow. So much for never fighting again. Okay. Okay, Paul, you keep me posted. All right. Any news? Um, he's got the name of the maid who found the letter, and he's going to see her first thing in the morning. Uh, so now we wait. And you tell John. His birthday's coming up. Charlene, isn't that a bit of a lame Look, last excuse? Last year, I made his birthday a miserable wreck. This year, I would like it to be somewhat near perfect. 
Okay. He's got you and Gregory. You know, mm -hmm. What more could he want? An 850cc motorcycle? Are you kidding Becky, me? Becky, you've got to see this baby. Charlene! <laughs> I, I thought you hated the idea I of do! Him. I hate him, but every time we drive past the cycle shop, John keeps mooning over this particular bike. And so... Where'd you get the money? I've been saving since January. <laughs> I also bought him the best helmet money can buy. That's... <laughs> that's crazy. That's really Come on, great. what's the matter? Oh, you know, I was just thinking that Cassie's birthday is coming up, too. You! Well, hi. 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 Come on in. Hello. Hi. 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 I wanted to see how the patient was. How are you feeling, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I thought you'd be tired of all that hospital food. I thought an eclair or two wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Really? Well, uh, that, that's very thoughtful of you. Now, this shop does not use preservatives, I asked, especially because of you. Oh, well, that's, that's really nice, but um, would you mind terribly if we made it another time? I'm, I'm tiring out here. Oh, of course not. not Just sit down and yet. relax. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night. All right. Okay? Okay? But really, thank you very much for stopping by and everything and You're thinking of welcome. me. You're okay. welcome. Feel better. Sure. You want some coffee? No, don't have the time. I really just came by to see how frank he was. Sure, bye -bye. I look at you later. Out. Yeah. So where's your other guest? What other guest? Well, there's a car sitting out in the driveway. I just assumed somebody was waiting. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't notice, really. I think it was a woman. 